How to solo cup might wash. Items needed. Two 16 ounce solo cups, Dawn Ultra dish soap, half cup measuring cup, a five gallon bucket with a lid, a gallon jug, one quart mason jar, a screw or a nail, and a torch. Now all of this will conveniently fit in your five gallon bucket like a toolbox to make it real easy to carry to the bee yard with the exception of the nail and the torch which you only need once. Making the strainer cup. To make the strainer cup you're going to need a long screw or nail. You're going to need one of your solo cups and you're going to either need a Coleman torch or a pin torch something to heat this screw up. Now the reason I suggest you get a long screw is so when you're holding on to this end and heating this end, the end you're holding does not get hot. So we're going to slide our cup in here and here we go. Now you may have to reheat this a few times to complete all the holes. Heat it up for a couple seconds. Get it good and hot. And here we go. So you're going to take your screw and you're simply going to insert it into the bottom of the cup making your holes now get as many holes as you can in the bottom of this cup and remember you want the holes as big as possible without the chance of a bee falling through and there we go all of my holes are done next step Dawn Ultra Dish Soap Mixture. Fill the jug with water, then add two tablespoons of Dawn Ultra Dish Soap. Now let's collect our samples. Step 1. Search for a frame of open brood. Open brood frames contain nurse bees. These bees care for the brood in the cells where the mites are found. Step 2. Shake or tap your full frame of bees into a 5 gallon bucket. Allow a few minutes to pass. Continue making your hive inspection or prep your workstation for sampling. Your workstation should look like this. As time passes you will notice no bees trying to fly. This means you have nurse bees in the bucket. Step 5. Now take a look in your bucket. Make sure there is no queen present. Absolutely do not want the queen in this mixture. Step 6. Tap the bucket on the side so all the bees fall together. Then scoop up a half a cup of bees. I'll tell you what, you do this finger thing on a half cup, that is almost, you'll be within. And oh, 300. Then you dump them into the half filled solo cup of the soap mixture. Let the bees bathe for at least one minute. This helps dislodge any mites. Step 7. Dump the remaining bees back into the hive and close it up. Now that at least one minute has passed, it's time to do our first mite wash. Notice the swirling motion of the cup. This is very important and repeat this motion for at least one minute. Step 8. Now pour the washed cup of bees through the strainer cup into the mason jar. Step 9. Refill the wash cup halfway to repeat the wash process. The second wash confirms all of the mites will be on our final mite count. Alright, so when you stack your two cups together, you can see the brims want to go almost all the way together. The best practice is to try and keep them spaced apart as you're doing your swirling motion. That allows the mites to properly drop through the strainer cup into our sampling cup. So, raise them apart, hold them there, and do your swirl. This time, swirl for 30 seconds. 
After swirling, let the soap mixture drain from the strainer cup back into the collection cup. Step 10. Discard of the dead bees. Now add the second wash to the mason jar. Allow a few seconds for the mites to drift to the bottom of the jar, and then count your mites. Oh my. There's 20 at least. 